Hello and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we're going to be looking into an interactive crosshair that changes depending on if we are moving or not. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and aim. Our movement is going to slow down, our crosshair is going to open, but if I stop moving, then it will shrink down, making our aiming more precise, just like in Resident Evil. So let's go ahead and get to it. First of all, in the description, you're going to go ahead and find a Gumroad asset pack, which is going to be free. Go ahead and download it because you're going to get your crosshairs and dashes here. So you're just going to go ahead into your content drawer here. Let's go ahead and make a new folder and call it UI. Go ahead and drop those in there. Now with those in, go ahead and right click. You're going to do scroll down user interface widget blueprint. Select this WB underscore UI. Go ahead and double click and open it. All right, search for a canvas panel. Go ahead and drag that in. First of all, in your content drawer now, we're gonna go ahead and drag in our center crosshair here. Drag it onto our canvas panel. We are going to uh, go ahead and anchor it to the middle here. Set the position X and Y to zero. We're actually gonna set the position X and Y to negative 12.5 on both. Then set the set, uh, size X and Y to 25. Sorry if I'm talking weird, just woke up from a nap. Thought I'd go ahead and knock this out. All right, cool. Now scroll down here on clicking it. There should be color and opacity here. Actually, it is under this one here. Uh, we're gonna do 0.5 for the opacity. Now let's go ahead and drag another canvas panel in on top of the other canvas panel. And we're just going to make sure that it isn't connected with the image here. That should be fine, uh, as long as it's sitting like this. Now under canvas panel, we're just gonna name it uh, CP underscore dash align. Let's make sure that's a variable too. Anchor it to the center here. Go ahead and reset the position. Um, size will be 154 by 154. And then position X and Y will be negative 77 on both. Now dragging in a dash, we'll put it under the dash align. Let's go ahead and anchor it to the bottom left here. Make your position X 0.65, position Y negative 17, and both the size is 32. Now down here in the color and opacity, we're gonna do 0.25, and we're just gonna duplicate it. So hit Control D. Now we're gonna go ahead and anchor this to the right side. Change the values to negative 32, negative 17, and 32 again for the size. Now same thing under our content drawer, we're gonna go ahead and get our dash rotated. We're gonna put it under the dash align. Set the opacity to 0.25 again. Anchor it to the top middle. For position X, we're gonna go ahead and do negative 16.459 and position Y as 6.9, sorry, I can't read very well, 9.72. Size X and size Y, we're doing 32. Duplicate it like before, anchor it to the bottom middle. We're gonna set the values to negative 16.459 Four five nine, negative thirty eight point three two one, and size thirty two for both again. All right, that should be that done there. Now we're actually going to go ahead to animations here, and we're going to create. Let's get out of here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create an animation. So add an animation here. We're going to name it crosshair shrink. Clicking on crosshair shrink now, click add, and we're gonna do it under the canvas panel dash align. Let's find this canvas panel dash align. Click here to add transform. Drop this down. Now just taking this red bar here, let's try to drag it down as small as possible. So about 0.1 there. So here, let's go ahead and do under scale, let's keyframe. And then over here, 
Let's change it to 0.2 for both values. Playing the animation, it should just, yep, there we go. Perfect. Go ahead and head into the graph here. Inside the graph, we're gonna go ahead and find event construct and delete the other two. Go ahead and drag off of this and do set timer by event. Now under variables, go ahead and hit plus and we're gonna name it character. We're gonna go ahead and choose third person character. Sorry if you hear some background noise. My fridge decided to just get super loud out of nowhere. Character selected, we're gonna do instance editable and exposed on spawn. We're gonna go back to our third person character here and add a variable and we're gonna name it crosshair latency. Go ahead and make sure this is a float. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure, just note this, that the values have to be between zero and one, but I'm gonna make the default here 0.2. Going back into our UI, we're gonna go ahead and get our character. I have some issues going on because my PC randomly, like OBS, just does not play with my graphics card very well. So if you see some like tearing and stuttering, that's why. Um, go ahead and drag off and do get crosshair latency. Go ahead and drag that into time. Now off of event, we're gonna do custom event. We're gonna name that toggle crosshair. Off of that, we're gonna make a branch. And then here, off of the character again, we're gonna drag this off and do aiming. Plug that into the condition here. Off of that, we're gonna make another branch off of the true condition. And down here in some space, we're gonna get the velocity of the character. We're gonna do vector length. and then a greater than node. Make sure that stays at zero and that's gonna be the condition for the second branch there. We're gonna make one more branch here up at the top for true. On the bottom, we're gonna do a delay. Go ahead and create a new variable and we're gonna name it cursor enlarged. Let's type boolean here. Go ahead and plug that into here. Compile on save and by default, make sure that is checked true. Then grab the center crosshair, which should be which one? Let's go ahead and name it so it's easier. Grab this, uh, let's do center crosshair. Back in the graph, we're gonna go ahead and grab it. Set visibility. Put that under false here. Make sure that the visibility is hidden. Now we're gonna grab our canvas panel dash align. We're also going to set the visibility of it. Go ahead and make sure this is set to visible. Now grab our crosshair shrink uh, animation. We're going to do play animation reverse. Go ahead and plug that in. Now set cursor enlarged to true. Here on the bottom with the delay, we're gonna go ahead and set that to one. Grab another branch, plug that in. The value for the condition is actually going to be this value right here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Then we're gonna do another branch where it's going to be under false. The condition is going to be if the cursor is enlarged. If the cursor is uh, enlarged, we're gonna grab crosshair shrink and do play animation forward. Put it under true here. Then after that, we're gonna do another delay. We're gonna set the time to 0.15. Let's grab our dash align here and do set visibility again. Change this to hidden. Now copy and paste. Set it to visible. 
plug in our center crosshair. Now go ahead and get our cursor enlarged and we're gonna set it and make sure that it's false. File and save. Going back to our third person character, we're gonna find this section here. We're gonna grab and let's drag this whole thing over to make some space. Let's move it over here. Go ahead and drag the right mouse button and both aimings to the left a bit. Let's go ahead and drag off of here and we're gonna do create widget, uh, create interactive crosshair or create widget. So it is just create widget. I'm not sure why I said that. Now choose the widget. We're gonna choose the UI widget. We should see character pop up here. So we're gonna drag off and we're gonna do self. Now there is owning player, but it doesn't function the same way that I'm wanting it to more clearly. So we're just going to do self here. Go ahead and make some more room. We're gonna return this and promote to variable. Go ahead and name it WB crosshair. Drag off of here and do add to viewport. Plug that in, drag in your WB crosshair. We're gonna do remove from parent. Go ahead and plug this in. Then we're going to go ahead and set our crosshair here to nothing, and then plug it back into the set relative rotation here and compile and save. The last thing we need to do here is go back to our designer. We're gonna click on our center crosshair. Now type in the search bar, we're gonna do visibility and make sure that it's set to hidden by default and compile and save. We also, in our set timer by event, need to make sure looping and max once per frame are on, as well as the cursor enlarge. Just double check and make sure that's enabled from the start. Now going ahead and running our game, you'll go ahead and see that we can walk around. However, when we aim, it'll open the crosshair like this. And when we stop moving, it will center onto this crosshair, kind of meaning that our, we would be more stable. That is this video complete here, but I can give a quick explanation real quick. When our character aims, we're gonna create the widget and assign it to a variable. However, when we stop aiming, it destroys the widget and clears it. However, back here in our widget, we have these all set up with an animation playing for the uh, crosshair rings, basically, to where they can shrink down to the size of this here in the middle. Basically, what we're doing here is creating a timer. It kind of functions like an event tick, but those are too load heavy. So I went ahead and made my own event tick, basically, which is what this timer is and it is going to check what type of crosshair we need. So it's gonna go ahead and start the timer here. It's gonna check and make sure we're aiming. If any of it comes back false, it'll cancel out the entire timer and stop. Um, now, if it detects that we are uh, moving, it's gonna go ahead and make sure the center crosshair is hidden. It's gonna make sure the outer crosshair is visible and it's going to play the animation in reverse so it opens back up when we start moving. However, if we're not moving, it's going to go ahead and play the animation forward, shrinking the outer crosshair. After a delay, it's gonna make sure the center crosshair and everything are visible. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next one, we're gonna be looking at adding guns and other features.